Have you ever been in an airplane when, surrounded by clouds, you couldn't see anything? The ground? Nothing at all. The term flying blind really relates, doesn't it, at that point? And yet that's how I feel a bit today, because we don't know how this plane is going to land. We don't really know what the future is going to look like. And if you're not a believer, you're looking for answers. You're looking for hope and direction. What's next? Facebook has seen a massive increase in the number of people who are online, over 10 million in the last few weeks. Messenger and other types of digital communication is up 50%. All of it says to me is that we are social animals, and even if we can't be together, we still want to communicate and be with one another, even if it's from a distance. What an opportunity for the good news. I'm glad that today, uh, over the last several weeks, I've been able to help churches in the U.S. with their digital ministry. And then we've done the same thing online in training Asia-Pacific missionaries during the month of May into how to use the digital world for outreach, for putting the good news into the marketplace. Our AP Media team in Manila has been quarantined, but that hasn't stopped them. They're working from home. The production of training videos has been seen by hundreds of people, and the quality of ministry is continuing to go up. I'm thankful that today, because of people we've had relationships with and worked with over the years, today people in Myanmar and Vietnam, in Indonesia, in the Philippines, and even in the Pacific Island, are doing digital ministry and reaching thousands, if not millions, literally, over the month with the good news of God's Word. I want to thank you because your partnership is helping to make it happen. God's Word is not quarantined even in a time when we feel like we're flying blind. Thank you for being a part of all that we're doing. Thank you for the friendship and relationship through Asia Pacific Media. Kim and I appreciate you. God bless.